Hi, sweetheart. Ooh. Say good morning, everybody. This is Brittany and Aria at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Rochelle. Are you gonna do typical cat and turn away from me? Ooh, yes. Hi, Chris. Hi, Carrie Ann. Good morning, Jane and Stephanie. Hey, Deb. Surprise live. <laughs> it's not getting any warmer. I was hoping it would, so I was waiting and waiting, but. Good morning, Lee. Hi, Kim. I just wanted to do a little walkabout and we'll make our way up hopefully to see Ginger who is our birthday cat of the day. Hi Gloria. Aria was very intensely watching our project group who looks like they're out driving around picking up sticks and limbs. Yes they are. <laughs> Hi, Missy. Hi, Anita. Hey, Jerry. Good morning. Happy Sunday to you all. Hey, Dawn. <laughs> Deb, you're going to laugh. It's not going to be as chilly as where it is <laughs> with everybody else. I actually don't even know. I, I got a new Apple Watch. I've never had one before, and I'm usually really good at technology, and this thing <laughs> has me all kinds of confused. I know I can set it where it tells me the temperature and the weather. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out, I'm getting messages, text messages on it, but it doesn't have any of my contacts names, so it's just phone numbers. So I'm always getting messages from full phone numbers, and I'm like, God, whose number is that? <laughs> Ugh, so getting it all worked out. All right, I guess that's our cue. Guess that's our cue. Good morning, Jackie. Hi, Jane. Have any of you guys been watching our handsome Kimba on his first couple of days of vacation? There's a new protocol with uh, most of the big cats, actually, but um, you have to have a door down between you and the section that you're cleaning. And ooh, thanks, sir. I'm not gonna come any closer because I cannot open that for you. And I know he'll yell at me. <laughs> I know, handsome. So Kimba is currently in his roof section of the two and a half acre vacation rotation. So he has all of this, but what he really wants me to do, he's pulling a Nikita. He wants me to go open that door so that he has access to all the rest of it, but until his cleaner comes out and walks all the way around it, then he has to stay right there. So it's just like how Nikita and Duchess have to stay in their roof sections until the cleaners are done so that they can clean their water bowls and things like that. So same thing. <laughs> so we won't tease him because <laughs> he's definitely gonna want me to open that. Yeah, have you guys been seeing uh, Breezy on Funcation at all? Or is she kind of hanging? Since we have to, I'm going to walk all the way over there anyway. Here's Sapphire. Um, since I'm going to walk all the way over there anyway, we'll try to find Breezy on Funcation. Hi, Saf. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is there a feisty boy over there? I know. This is my typical sapphire greeting. If I get any closer, someone will definitely jump, put their paws up on the cage. So sapphire gets very obsessive when new cats go right over there to vacation. Oh my, that was very grumbly. Look how white she looks today though. Very white. You did some grooming. You did some grooming. So Sapphire also has a ton of space. <laughs> Look at her. She wants to get me. That's why we're not getting any closer. So Sapphire has all of this whole enclosure, but she hangs out in that back 
bubble by that den so that she can obsessively watch Aria and whoever's on vacation. And then usually an hour or two after breakfast, she'll give up and then she'll come over and enjoy her larger space. Not super cloudy. There's a little bit of blue peeking through, but when these clouds roll in, it makes the temperature definitely feel colder than it should. And it's a little breezy. So that's why we'll go see Breezy. So we'll celebrate Ginger today. We're celebrating her for today as her January birthday. We are halfway through, over halfway through all of the January birthdays now. So that's exciting. <laughs> But I actually think I'm going to keep up that momentum as far as when we do celebrate a cat birthday, um, we'll dedicate that entire day to the cat, at least on Instagram. I don't know if Deb and Luana want to do that on Facebook, but we can definitely keep that going. Hey, Cindy. Stop and give you a view. Hey, Daniel. Good morning. Andrea, it does look like it's going to rain, but I checked the weather and it just says cloudy and only a high of about 60 and it's breezy, so that always feels cooler. There's Simba over there. We've got our girls over here, Kali and Jasmine. I'm on foot, so it's just taken a little while to get over to the smaller cats. Hi! Kali, Kali! Not that interested. You're interested in the boy. Simba, who's way over there. What about you, lady? I do not know what everyone's talking about with Stony. <laughs> that is beyond me, I guess. Ooh, ooh. This is Jasmine. Good morning, Michelle. Hey James. Hey Gloria. Thanks for joining us this morning. I started walking in from out back where my office is. So we did get to see Aria and Kimba, Sapphire, Jasmine and Kali. <laughs> and Kali's like, I have a very full belly. Bye. <laughs> Very full belly. Let's see what Max is doing. Maxie! Maxie Moo! He's going that way. Let's go this way. Oh, the black leopard statue. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what in the world is everyone talking about? I am not privy. That must be a Saturday thing or something. Simba just got settled by the lake. Ah, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> I forget what that statue's name originally was when I started what everybody was calling it. I know one year, I think it was an April Fool's joke, they used some kind of like chalk that would rinse off and they painted it pink and made it a pink panther. So that was adorable. <laughs> we have a Mr. Manny straight ahead. Good morning, Becca. Good evening, Debbie. Where are you at that it's evening? <laughs> it's like 10 a.m. here. 
Yes, Deb, thanks for bringing that up. You guys can still buy the 2021 Big Cat Rescue calendar. Go to bigcatrescue.biz and there's a link for it right on the homepage or just search for calendar. <laughs> wow, that's very sneaky. That is very sneaky. What was that? Hi, bub. It's good to see you. I don't feel like I got to see you much last week. Yeah. I didn't get to see you much last week. Yeah. Yeah, I made it a goal to, because last year, each month kind of kept getting away from me. When I first started out here, I would take pictures practically once a week. Right? About once a week. And the, as the years keep flying by, I was finding less and less time to come out and take pictures. So last year, I felt like it was a little bit more difficult for Jamie to construct the calendar. So as part of my 2021 goal list, it was to make time every single month, no matter what. Yeah. So I did take time last week. I chose to do it during panic year because I thought for sure, since the cats are so hyper, and excited for food and they're fasting, they're way more active. <laughs> so I did come out and spent some time taking photos. Yeah. Oh, there goes Nikita. Just like that, he's up there now for the rest of the day. So my ultimate goal is to probably come out twice a month and walk around and take pictures. Try to do a morning route and an evening route because there are just certain cats that you're gonna see way early in the morning or way late at night that you won't in the middle of the day. <laughs> Susan, I have more pictures of actually, if I really counted it out, I have the most photos out of any other cat out here. It's Jinx, <laughs> but Smalls is a very second place. <laughs> very, very sh shortly behind him. And then some of my like absolute favorite cats are the cats that I uh, don't have a lot of pictures of because they get too close, so you can't really get great photos of them. And for me, that's Hutch. Hutch, like if he sees me, he's just on the side of the cage and I can't just like get him to like go do something else so I can take pictures of him. He wants to hang and so that makes it really difficult. Oh, I hear my hawk. Well, thank you for saying you love your big cat rescue. We sure love our supporters. What did Nikita say? I wish I understood your eye blinks. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for the donation. We really appreciate that. I definitely want to give a huge shout out to all of you. Yeah, you do too. I can tell that I just am blown away by how many of you guys are sponsoring and renewing your sponsors for the cats. Um, you know, when you sponsor a cat, it's good for 12 months. So if you remember the month that you sponsor them, you can renew it anywhere from $25 all the way up to 5,000. 
and we had a report come out for December 2020 and we were all shocked by some of the numbers and you guys are just more than making up for it I'm really really excited about that we've been featuring those cats every day and trying to make sure you guys are aware of who had the least but don't forget about the ones we don't want everybody who was at the bottom of the list to be at the top and then everyone who was <laughs> we don't want it vice versa so let's put it that way Aria was our number one sponsored cat last year. And I think we should keep it that way. She sure deserves it. But I just really, really am so thankful to you guys um, to see that many sponsorships coming through on our Shopify stores. Just like more than I could have asked for. So thank you guys very much. I don't see Jinx. We might be kind of far into his grooming and napping. He's really far back there, but we came over to see Breezy and Ginger, so we'll do that, and then you know we'll see Jinx sometime this week. So let's search for a Breezy Bob. Well, we had a couple cats that only had two sponsors. I know Nabisco was one of them, Lakota and Marianne. A lot of them only had, you know, two or three sponsors and um, that were active, I mean, again. And that's partly our fault as well. We had something in place that would alert people when their sponsorships were coming to an end. But with all the staff changes and just all the crazy changes in general, blame it on 2020. <laughs> so hopefully we're going to get all that sorted out. But if your sponsorship was up and it was more than 12 months, all you got to do is just go uh, sponsor them again in the same way you did the first time. There's no different step. So that's at bigcatrescue.biz. So we're going to search for Breezy. And I know Ginger's birthday is who we're celebrating today. And she only has four sponsors. So we're now into the like four and five range. Hi, <laughs> I hear you. There's Cyrus. Cyrus, I was looking for Breezy. Where's that Breezy Bob? Where's that Breezy Bob? Do you know? Do you know, sir? I was looking. I bet she's, yeah. I bet she's all the way in that front den that I can't see. Let me look in the palmettos. I know. Come over here and help. She's probably in that den that I can't see, but I wanted to check these palmettos first. So I will have to walk all the way around Cyrus. Because I don't see her. You want to go for a walk? Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Come on, sir. Get some exercise. <laughs> yeah, go around that way. You know the drill. It's very jungly back here, so I can't... Oh my goodness! I can't really watch the screen. I'm watching where I'm walking. Bob! Look at that tail. You have a very wiggle worm tail today. Is that where Breezy is? Is that where she's gonna be? <laughs> I know, bud, I missed you. I did, I missed you. I 
I did. I missed you so much. Let's see if she's in this den. If not, she... Oh, yes, yeah, she is. I see her. Hi, Breeze. I didn't bring anything fun. I'm sorry. Everybody just wants to see you on your first funcation. What do you think of Cyrus? Has he been nice? And he being a nice boy to you? So this is Miss Breezy. 24 year old Bobcat. She is on her very first turn in our 22,000 square foot funcation enclosure. Have you been out exploring, babe? <laughs> very gingerly. Very gingerly exploring. <laughs> and Cyrus is just, <laughs> what you doing back there, buddy? He's like, look at me, look at me, look what I can do. Look what I can do. Have you been showing Breezy the ropes back here? Yeah. <laughs> she walked over there, but then she stopped to stare at something. Look at that little tail. Look at that little tail, Breezy. <laughs> See, I'm pretty friendly. I'm a pretty friendly boy. Unless you put me in a hospital cage. Or food is involved. <laughs> Did you get that palmetto? You show it who was boss. I know. Look at those fangs hanging out of your mouth. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What a sweet boy breaks my heart. Um, Cyrus, Chaos, and Zucari all came from a lady that was breeding cats for the illegal pet trade. And uh, they had all been declawed. And he, like, tends to trip a lot. Or has, like, a little hiccup in his step. I'm really hoping that doesn't lead to other long-lasting issues. But it usually does. Declawing is just horrible for these cats. What you doing, Breezy? She just kind of stayed stuck over there. <laughs> now she's moving again. Where are you going, honey? Breezy Bob! Look how well you blend in. Thank you to everybody who is educating people about our enclosures. People that first join in have absolutely no clue what they're seeing. And so it's really helpful when you guys all jump in there and make sure that they understand that my camera can only show you one shot. But every single cat has at least 1,800 square feet, if not way more. She's like, okay, I'll go back in this den. <laughs> All snug for the day. She all snug for the day, sir. So I've actually made it a point because it's such a misconception for people um, about cage sizes that I've started a series of videos where you um, can watch me walk around every single cat's enclosure and show you all of the details of it. Almost every cat here, it takes close to 10 minutes to walk around their enclosure. And you can watch that at dailybigcat.com. And there is a home tour playlist that you can watch. I don't have every single cat done yet. It's on my many to-do lists. 
but we sure got through a lot. I know I got 50% of them done. Of course, we moved some cats. <laughs> so, might have to do some updating once it's totally done, but I know I still have like 15 or 20 left, but we've got over 50 cats, so it took some time and then bad weather and then just, you just, every day's an adventure. You can make a plan and make an agenda and then it's all on cat time, so it's whatever they decide is going to work for them instead. All right, Bob, we're going to go see Ginger. Let's go see the lady of the day. The lady of the day, yes. Good job. All right, Bob. We love you. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, Cyrus. Well, cats scent mark. That's why they rub everything and they claw everything and they chew on everything and they pee on everything. So it does appear friendly, like a lot of people see Cyrus and my interaction and they're like oh don't you just want to pet him i'm like oh no his teeth his canines alone are several inches long <laughs> and if you have a domestic cat at home that has a tendency to randomly bite you for absolutely no reason then you know it is not worth it <laughs> it's disrespectful he'd never allow me to do that in the wild so putting him in a cage hi here's chaos <laughs> what are you doing, honey? She's like, I'm napping. Chaos is a female caracal. Oh, she's like, okay, bye. <laughs> I'm lucky I even spotted her in there. And she is neighbors with Cyrus. They do not want to live together. They have proven that. All right, let's go see Ginger. I walked here from my desk, so we saw a lot of the tigers in the beginning as I came through Outback and Tiger Row. So let's go see, let's see if we can even see Ginger. If we can't, <laughs> I'll find a backup cat. <laughs> Ginger is just, I can usually interact with her like, with a regular camera, but for some reason when I'm live or I'm trying to get video of her, she just goes as far away from me as she possibly can. She's up walking around now, but we'll see what she does when I get over to her. Yeah, I have a domestic cat. I've had her for 14 years. And if you pet her for too long, she will sink her teeth into you and her claws around you. And I can't even imagine a cat that's got 20 pounds on her doing that. You know, and so many people are, think that petting them is showing them affection, but just hanging out with them shows them affection. Hi, Ginger. Just giving them enrichment, feeding them, giving them your time and attention is really where the bonding comes in. Gigi! Hi, honey, I know. Oh, thank you, birthday girl. What a good lady. Hi, cutie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Has Zukari been showing you some stuff? So this is an African serval. Her name's Ginger. Today she is celebrating her birthday. Cricket, are you singing happy birthday? Cricket's in the background, her next door neighbor. And Miss Ginger here only had four active sponsors as of December, 2020. If you guys recall, Ginger actually broke her leg in 2019 on the 4th of July. We think um, she either fell or jumped and was probably startled by all of the ridiculous fireworks in the area. 
as it was late afternoon, evening, right around meds time. It was my meds night and Afton came rolling up on a cart and she had some extra treats. So she was going to go give them to Ginger and I was across the path at Servi giving her her med. And I just hear Afton be like, oh my gosh. And here comes Ginger walking slash running across the cage to come get treats with her leg just dangling. She had probably just done it because I had heard a really obnoxiously loud sound. And she was just tough as nails. She's like, oh, where are my treats? And of course we couldn't give her the treats because we were like, oh, I think you need sedated. <laughs> like, this is bad. So we had to get her out and she spent many months, I think from July 2019 till November 2019 in our recovery hospital. She recovered really, really well. She was an okay patient. Putting a serval inside is a disastrous idea. They're very destructive. They want to pee on absolutely everything. They're very aggressive. So she had a very, a very eventful 2019. So thankfully for her, 2020 went really well. She just didn't have a ton of sponsors. Yeah, she's so pretty though. You must have heard that I never get to show you. There's a cricket again. Cricket! No! <clears throat> yeah, all of our animal care is done by volunteers here, um, including our veterinarians that volunteer their time and come in when needed. And so all of your donations really help us um, be able to afford top of the line food and medical care for these cats. No, I hear you. Ginger, what is Cricket talking about? What's Cricket talking about? You look at her, she looks like she's smiling. A happy birthday girl. A very happy birthday girl. Good morning, Camilla. Or Camille. Sorry, it rolls by so fast. I oh, That's like my most anxiety that comes with these lives is I hate to mispronounce or I hate misspelling people's names too. Like I find it, I'm sure it's offensive to people. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but if you want to sponsor Ginger for her birthday, I'd really love that. You can do that at bigcatrescue.biz. You can see Ginger's uh, home tour at dailybigcat.com or Deb posted it on our Facebook page today. <laughs> she looked like she's smiling. I don't really want to walk away from her because I never get this kind of time with Ginger. So we're just going to hang. If anybody has any questions, now would be a good time because I'm reading my screen. <laughs> Ginger, what's she saying? Thank you, Amanda, for donating. What's Cricket talking about? Ginger cat. Thank you, Doris, for the donation. So Ginger actually came to us as part of the Gilligan's Island rescue. So it was a horrible backyard menagerie of animals in Kansas. And the animals were confiscated and we took in several small cats. All of them have names from Gilligan's Island. And Ginger's story always breaks my heart, kind of in the same way that Gilligan's does. Just knowing that once she finally had space, just seeing how happy she was and the fact that probably her mate or her neighbor had died and just laid there in a pit after authorities got there. They at least buried all of the deceased animals that they found around the property. It's just, it's just horrible. 
Uh, squirrels are doing good. Actually, Pocus is kind of surprising me. Um, Hocus is doing amazing and he'll probably go free maybe this week or next. Pocus is at home. Hi, Cricket! At my home right now and we set her up in a much larger enclosure. Um, but she's in my back room of my house and she actually chewed through some stuff this weekend, which I was like, heck yeah. Like if we keep that up, maybe she does have a chance to go free. So we'll see. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to renew your sponsorships of the cats you've already sponsored, you just re-sponsor them. Just go to bigcatrescue.biz and you can choose a different price point or you can choose the same that you did. Uh, Ginger here is an African serval. If you want to read Ginger's full story, you can do that at bigcatrescue.org slash ginger. Yeah, my goodness. We've been live for a while. We walked over halfway through the sanctuary. So if you missed any part of this, you can rewatch it at dailybigcat.com or it posts automatically on Facebook. And we usually share it into our Facebook group. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can rewatch these. There's really no excuse to miss them. <laughs> well, thank you so much to the four of you guys that donated today. Ginger, it was almost $200. Yeah, almost. She's just never does this. She usually goes right into a den and hides. So this is absolutely wonderful to get this much ginger time. Gigi, special birthday girl. So you can watch our Facebook and make sure you scroll through because we post a lot on social media. So if you miss something, just take a moment to, thank you May for the donation. Just take a moment to scroll back through our entire feed for the day and then you won't miss anything. Same thing on Instagram. I've been posting up to about six times a day. Uh, Lisa, my cat actually, it's very surprising. So I mentioned my personal cat that I have at home. Her name's Alice. She's just a domestic long hair. Um, I used to manage a pet store in Ohio and uh, somebody dropped off a box of six kittens and they were duct taped into a box and left at the door and they still needed to be bottle fed. And so we raised them and there was one cat in the litter that was very, um, I don't know, just her markings were really striking to me. She was also the most fierce. So she didn't do well with a lot of people. And so I kind of took her on and then you know, she was like eight weeks old and I finally was like, all right, she's coming home with me. <laughs> and she was my first ever cat. I've never actually had a cat before. Um, and so Alice is my first and only that I've had. And she, again, with the pet store, I had a pet rat at one time named Gypsy. And when Alice was younger, that kind of thing drove her nuts. Like she would obsessively stare or lay on top of um, the cage or would try to get into the room where it was. So I was really worried when I started helping with the, um, rehabbing of the squirrels last year because I had no idea how she was going to act. But again, she's 14 now and way more chill and relaxed and she'll kind of look at her occasionally, but she really has paid zero attention um, from day one. So when Twiggy was home with me, Ziggy and Izzy were home with me, uh, Hocus and Pocus have been home with me, and she could care less. So, <laughs> well, time to roam again. All right, everybody. Well, I am going to call it a day for today, but I try to do these lives every day um, that I'm here on my work days. So unless I'm helping volunteer, like feeding and things like that, then you might not get a live or at least not an early one. But I really appreciate all the donations and everybody who joined us, everybody who helped answer questions. 
And like Ginger's saying, I think it's time to say goodbye. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday and we'll have an awesome week. See you guys later.